Tonight's Lizard Fest, The Return of Godzilla, is probably better known as Godzilla 85. The Return of Godzilla came from an American re-release, although this is the original Japanese version. This installment of the G-Man series was the first for nearly 10 years, and an attempt at a direct sequel to the original, although there is a 30-year time discrepancy. This film also tries to forget about the 14 films that came in between, the majority of which were those horrific films of the 60s and 70s. <laughs> Picking up where the original left off, this time we find the big bastard smack bang in the middle of the Cold War. It's 1985. A ship's adrift in the wild sea and runs aground on a deserted island. Or is it deserted? But it is funny to note how the miniature model making hasn't improved in the least bit in the 30 year hiatus. In fact, it's, it's actually regressed. Godzilla attacks a nuclear power station for a bit of energy-giving radiation. America and Russia want to use their nuclear weapons to destroy him, but Japan holds firm with their no-you-can't because nuclear power will destroy the planet-type stance. So another plan is hatched to lure him to his death. This film is a welcome return to the threat of nuclear destruction, and following in the original's footstep, Godzilla isn't battling a mutant enemy, he's actually battling mankind. Another fine example of mid-80s military muscle and might combined with some territorial pissing as the Americans and the Russians attempt to bully the Japanese into nuking Tokyo and killing Zilla. Hang on a second, wasn't it a combination of Nagasaki, Hiroshima and Russian nuclear testing off the Japanese coast that prompted all this metaphorical, allegorical monster nuclear filmmaking in the first place? Godzilla gives everyone so much jip, they decide to unleash the Super X weapon, a kind of ultimate killing machine. Probably made by a British company then. Anyway, it gives Godzilla a lovely pounding because every time he opens his gob to roar, he shoots his gun right into his mouth. Mm, nasty nice touch, that. Will Godzilla live? Will Godzilla die? I don't know, do I? War, eh? What is it good for? Absolutely nothing, apart from killing an oversized, irradiated, mutated, prehistoric, amphibious fuck. Say it again. Whoa, hey, what is it good for? Apart from killing a gigantic, irradiated, atomic, fucking lizard, fire breather.